Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's nearly Christmas, this is my last video before Christmas and I don't know about you but I'm excited. I know a lot of people aren't excited about Christmas this year and I'll get into that later but I think for me Christmas is something to look forward to. So I think everyone should be happy about Christmas, you know, it's a day to look forward to, it's something in this miserable lockdown to look forward to but that's just me. Anyway, in today's video, I'm gonna be recreating a look. This was done by Nincompoop or Ellie, however you know her. Um, and I'll put the look up right here. Um, Ellie's actually one of my friends. We've met up a few times, um, we talk quite a bit. So like, I don't know, like, don't know if that means anything, but I personally love this look. And the look she was doing, like she was recreating her own look for Christmas from like years ago and actually that look that she recreated was the first ever video I ever watched of hers so like that threw me back but I love the look that she made even better I don't think she liked it herself but I thought it was really nice so me and Ellie have like a similar eye shape um we both kind of like do the same kind of wackyish looks I think she does a bit more like wackiness than I do but like in a good way like I wish I could do it but I just don't think of it I don't know how she thinks of the colors and things that she does no idea so i'm gonna be recreating that look today because i just love it and i haven't been able to get it out of my head since i watched it i think she did it like two weeks ago ish maybe more and i haven't been able to get this look out of my head i've wanted to do it since i've seen it and i just haven't had time or i've forgotten that i was gonna do it and i've did something else so i thought you know what for the last video before christmas i might as well just do a little bit of a sit down a little bit of a chat and just do some makeup i am gonna say again the lights over here you can see on my face um that the lights will be flickering they're just one color right now but they'll be flickering between orange and blue so that's why you'll see this bit changing i also did put on quite a bit of blush but it doesn't really look like it, it just looks like i've gone really heavy from my contour um but i haven't it's just the lighting i've got a lot of light this side and not a lot of light this side so uh, just ignore all of that but anyway i'm gonna get started on the look i'm gonna be using my nikki tutorials palette again um just because i love this palette it's got the nice red and the nice green in it and that's the staple of this look, essentially. The one thing I don't have is I think she used glitter on her, like, her eyelid, and I don't have any glitter. I could maybe like put a little bit of like Roxy Catan or Aura, which is like, oh, that's Aura, that's Roxy Catan. I could maybe put one of them over top, but I haven't got anything red and glittery. Um, I've got like a, I think I've got like a dark reddish shimmery shade on my jeffrey palette but i can't be asked trying to go and find that i'm just not going to do glitter which i think is going to kind of take something away from the look but what can you do also i've got my little christmas jumper it's a little robin and if you watch my like christmas decorating vlog you well, vlog sort of thing you know why robins are like a big thing for us in this family so um yeah just putting up the look on my phone and then we'll get started i haven't actually primed my eyelids and that's one thing that i normally do and i just haven't done it today so this would be interesting because i've never used nikki's shades without priming my eyelids so this also isn't a tutorial by any means if you want a tutorial on well not even a tutorial but like if you want to like a step by step on how to do this go and watch ellie's video i'll link in the description box below because honestly ellie's amazing she's great um she's been on youtube forever so like go support her like you know she's fucking great I always keep forgetting as well to bring something to clip my hair aside and I'm missing another nail so I'm missing these two nails now so ignore that she actually does like a really interesting my cat just coughed being okay she actually does a really interesting shape for this and that's what I think I'm gonna struggle to recreate honestly because she doesn't like we, we both have headed eyes so she kind of like just doesn't really bring it any higher than her crease which I'm so not used to doing and then she kind of just like brings it really sharply down and then wings it out. And that's such an interesting shape. Like I never do that. Like I, as you know, like I always blend far up, like near enough into my eyebrow half the time. <laughs> Cause that's just what I feel most comfortable. But this one's like very much a, it's in an editorial, like graphic sort of look where it's just not blended. And it's just, it's just quite a harsh line. And you know, it actually really works for this look. Like she slightly blends it out, but like, other than that, you know, like it's just kind of this. And I'm actually kind of vibing with it, to be honest with you. My main concern is how the hell do I get this like pristine line? This scares me. I did also check with Ellie before um, filming that I could use her clips um, and like 
pictures and stuff in this video and she said yes, so please don't come for me. I did ask for permission. Hi Ellie, if you're watching. How are you? This isn't quite the same shape as hers, but like it works, you know? I've also tried to change my settings slightly so that it's a bit more true to colour because last time when I used reds, um, they looked very pink and I think they look more red today. With Christmas coming up and stuff and like the new lockdown restrictions and things that are going to be happening in the UK, I want to know how you're feeling about all of this. Like, how are you coping with the change in the rules? Because I think they're meant to be slightly different. Scotland's rules are... I'm a sh I think they're different because we don't really listen too much to Boris. Um, we more listen to Nicola Sturgeon. But like, I'm assuming, or from like I, from what I understand, they were meant to be like, we, we were meant to have like a certain grace period between the 23rd and the 27th, I think. Um, and then that was changed to basically like just Christmas day. And then we're going back into like a tier four lockdown or something like that. So like, how are you feeling about this? Like, I wanna know how you're all handling it. Personally, it's not changed us at all. Like we haven't been going out. We haven't been doing anything different than like from the first ever lockdown Been getting our food delivered and things like that. So like for us, it's not really affecting us basically at all. Um, it is a bit kind of shitty that it's continuously happening, but we decided a couple of weeks slash months ago, like maybe back in October, that for Christmas we were just going to be staying at home and doing it ourselves this year. We weren't going to be going anywhere, we weren't going to be seeing any friends and family because we wanted to prepare for the worst and we didn't want to make plans and have to cancel them or change them because that's just stressful and Christmas is stressful enough. But I know a lot of people had their hearts like set on going to see family and things for Christmas because obviously people haven't seen their family basically all year. So why would you not want to go see your friends and family for Christmas, you know? Also, I'm kind of realizing I've done the majority of the look. This is so easy. Why haven't I done it yet? Like, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't think I've got the shape quite the same as hers, but you know what? I'm really liking it. The only thing is just with my eye shape, it doesn't do it too much for hers. She's got like a different eye shape kind of, but like we have the same type of like, uh, like <laughs> type of eyes, like hooded eyes. Like for her, it didn't make her eyes look saggy or droopy or anything like that, but for mine, it kind of does. So that might have been my fault, the way that I've done the lines and stuff, but um, hey ho. But yeah, the shape, it doesn't look the same and I don't understand why. I don't hate it though. It looks really cool. And with lashes on, this is just gonna blow, you know, blow it out of the park. It's gonna go on with a green shade now. Like I've literally almost done, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Sorry, this is gonna be like a really short video, but you know, I just wanted to like check in with you guys and just see how you're all doing and how you're all coping and I think in times like these, we all kind of need to be talking to each other and communicating and, you know, just having a laugh. And that's all I kind of want for my channel. Like, I don't want too much seriousness in here. Like, let's have some sort of serious chat every now and then. But like, other than that, let's just have some, you know, chill, talking, relaxing. And I feel like I haven't done a talking video for a while. I say that, but I've got another one planned. Like, um, for New Year, I've got a kind of talking almost tutorial-esque video planned so like you know <laughs> yeah I feel like we don't do enough of that yeah I don't know how she got that shape but that shape is really nice and I just did not achieve that also it looks so bad right now but it look it will look cool it will look tr trust the process it will look cool like I said at the beginning of the video like I've been looking forward to Christmas just because it's something to look forward to I think with 2020 like with how bad it's been we all kind of need something to look forward to and to like be happy about and yeah it's not gonna be the same but that doesn't mean it has to be bad but then I suppose like a lot of people see their family every year for Christmas I, I feel like a lot of the people who don't typically see their family over Christmas aren't gonna be the are, are gonna have the same kind of mindset as me like they're not gonna be too fussed about what happens because it's not gonna be too much different like for me I haven't spent Christmas with my family for five years I had to think about that then um, I haven't spent Christmas with them since I moved up to Scotland and I've been here for almost six years now but I spent Christmas with them oh and it must be six Christmases then it must be six Christmases then that I haven't spent with them I don't know no I is it five or six I, I don't know because Christmas was just before I moved up here so like does that make five or six years since I spent Christmas up here I don't know 
But like for me, like I don't really see it as much because I don't see my family. I see my husband's family, which yes, they're still my family, like granted, but like it's it's slightly different, you know, it's not it's not the same as what other people's are, whereas some people always go to their mums or their dads or whoever's and they have this big family meeting, whereas we've never really had that. Um, and I haven't had that for a good couple of years. So it doesn't affect me too much, to be honest, which probably sounds a bit like, oh, okay, but it just doesn't affect me too much being kind of on our own and doing our own thing because I've wanted to do our own thing for a little while on Christmas. I've wanted to cook Christmas dinner on Christmas day as opposed to like cooking it on Boxing Day. You know, like I've wanted us to have our own little thing for a while. I don't know if that makes me like a bad person or not, but like I still would love to see family and things, but it's just not, it's not gonna happen. Okay, yeah, um, I put a bit of shimmer on here and I'm liking that I did that, so um, well done me for actually doing that. I think she mainly did this on like the, the center of her eyelid and I agree with that choice. So yeah, I feel like people who always see their family on Christmas are gonna struggle with it this year, but people who don't see their family or like only see like their partner's family or Something like that. People who aren't used to seeing their family anymore, I feel like they're not gonna struggle as much this year. But like, try and make something different out of it. Like, yeah, you're you, you're gonna be like at home just with, I don't know, your roommate or something like that. But try and make some fun out of it. I saw um, a TikTok, I think it was, or like an article or something where this uh, Muslim guy wasn't able to go home for the holidays. So it was just him and his roommates who did celebrate Christmas. Obviously Muslims don't. Um, like his roommates were teaching him how to have Christmas and they weren't like disrespecting him. They're just having Christmas, you know, for themselves. And he was like, you know what, can you teach me how to do it? And he was experiencing something new as well. So like, just because, you know, you can't have it normally as you usually would have Christmas doesn't mean you can't have it in a good way. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, I kind of feel like I'm rambling at this point, but like, I just think a lot of people are kind of blindsided in the fact that, oh, it's not gonna be the same Christmas as I always remember, but that doesn't mean it has to be a bad Christmas. You know what? I'm putting the shimmer on my eyes and I'm thinking it looks really nice. I don't know how well you'll be able to see it, but like, it looks really nice and I kinda of wanna put some on my lips. This is probably gonna go really bad, but like, I just want a little bit in here. I'm happy with that choice. Ellie didn't do this, but like, hey. <laughs> it looks cool. Like for you, it kind of looks kind of like goldy, but for me, it just looks a bit kind of, it looks a bit more coppery, but still red. So like, can you tell? Maybe, maybe not. Did she put eyeliner on there? That's the question. I can't remember if she did. She put some on the inner corners after she put lashes on. Um, I think she did. I'm going to put on a little bit of eyeliner and extend my inner corner like she did as well. But I think that other than that, the look is basically done. So yeah, I think just what I'm trying to say is like, don't stress too much that Christmas isn't going to be how you remember it being all all the time, like every year. Because things will always change. Like, you know, there was always that one time that something was going to be different. So the first time you move out from your mum's, like that first Christmas is going to be different because instead of waking up and going down and seeing the tree, you wake up in your own place and you drive or walk to your mum's or you don't even go to hers for Christmas, you go to your partner's for Christmas, or you see your mum on Boxing Day and so like there's always going to be a day, like a year where Christmas isn't the same. And this is just one of those years. But I think this year's being frowned upon more, or like people are kind of bitching about this year more, or this Christmas more, because of the fact that it's not like their own choice. And yeah, I get it, but at the same time, the sooner this is all, like the sooner we all stick to the rules and work together, you know, the sooner things will be better. And if we carry on going the rate that we're going, we might not even be able to have next Christmas, which a lot of people are looking forward to. Just take it as it is, try and find a silver lining, try and find something to look forward to. And you know, you'll get there eventually. No, it's not gonna be the same. And I'm not saying like, oh yeah, this is gonna be, like, there's, there's no difference, like get over it. I'm not saying that at all. So like, if you're taking us out, like, please don't take it like that. Like, I'm meaning this as in like, the best way possible, like, find something to look forward to this year. I personally, um, I'm re really looking forward to my husband opening up his present um, because I know he's gonna love it and I know he's gonna be so excited for it and things like that. And I can't wait to see his reaction. And that's what I'm looking forward to. 
I'm also just looking forward to cooking my own Christmas dinner and making a feast out of it. Like our plans are to get up, have our, uh, open our presents and things, um, like maybe just spend some time playing with the presents or doing wh whatever we've got, like kind of just using them and looking at them and setting things up if need be and things like that. Like after that, we're gonna have Christmas dinner and then we're just gonna watch films and eat snacks and get drunk. Like that's what we're gonna do. And you know what? That sounds amazing. That sounds great in my mind. Maybe that's not your cup of tea. Maybe you wanna play board, uh, board games or something and you can. Um, if you live with people, you can. Or if not, there's a thing, there's like an Xbox game or like just, I think it's online actually, called Jackbox Party Games. And you can play that with people when they're not in the same room. So look into that if you're gonna be alone. Um, I'm pretty sure, pretty sure a house party, which is a bit like Zoom. Um, that's, I think that's still about, isn't that? Like, I don't know. That has like games and stuff on it that you can play. So you could have like up to 20 people, I think. And you can all play games on that. Like, why don't you do that as well if you're not gonna be with your family and friends? I mean, you can still play board games and things. You can still, you know, see family just in a different way. Okay, this doesn't really look too much like hers, but I think when I put the lashes on, hopefully it makes it look a little bit better. I'm just using the Barry M lashes that I got in the November, like, um, Black Friday glossy box thing. I can't remember what name of the lashes are, but I really like them. My cats are sleeping behind the camera, and honestly, it's one of the cutest things ever, just watching them sleep. I want you guys to just think right now, like, about one thing that you're looking forward to for Christmas. Forget all the, all the things aside, like, just... Just forget about them for a minute. Like, what one thing are you looking forward to for Christmas? Have you got someone a present that you're excited for them to open? Do you have a favorite part of Christmas dinner? Do you love putting the Christmas crackers? Like, what's your favorite part of Christmas? Because I think everyone should be holding on to that this year. All we have are our memories and, you know, like 2020 is definitely a year we all kind of want to forget, but none of us are ever going to forget it. Think about something now to make a memory out of and just, make sure you actually see that memory through and hold on to it because it's times like these where we don't want to forget important moments. I don't know, forget about all the bad things and just hold on to the good. I also just want to know what your favorite Christmas memory is in general. Like, let me know that as well. Any year, any time, any family member, wherever you were, what was your favorite Christmas memory in general? Well guys, I guess that is it for me today. I mean, this is the finished look. Like I, Really like it actually. I know Ellie didn't like it when she did it on herself. I hope she changed her mind though. Cause like, I think it's a really nice unique look and like, it's very easy to do. It's very simple. There's no blending needed. So like people who aren't that like, confident with blending can do this really well. Like I really love this look. I think it looks really nice. And I'm so glad I added in the shimmer cause that does make it work. Um, but yeah, that's it for me today. Thank you very much for like just sitting with me, having a little chat about how we're feeling and things like that. Like, please let me know in the comments, like all this, all the stuff I asked, because like, I do genuinely read all my comments. Um, and I do actually want to read them as well. Like I do care when I see what people are writing in there, you know, like as long as you're not writing spam or being mean, then I care. So please let me know in the comments, all the things that I asked before. Um, and also please go show Ellie some love as well. I'll link the video um in the in the description box like i said so go ahead and check her channel out check out the video i thought it was a really cool video just because like i said that's the first video i've ever watched of hers and she was recreating that look and she made this gem of a look so i guess that's all from me today anyway um happy christmas or happy holidays if you don't celebrate christmas i think it's hanukkah right now isn't it does hanukkah end on the 24th i think um and the 24th i believe is christmas in like other countries i think in Germany and Norway. I'm sorry if that's wrong. I know it's I know it's Christmas in a few different countries like around the world um, on the 24th. So like Merry Christmas, happy holidays um, from my family to yours with all my cats, my husband, my tree, <laughs> um, autumn over there. You know, Merry Christmas. Uh, if you like this kind of video, kind of like me recreating looks, go ahead and leave me a like. It always helps me see if you want to see more of this content in the future. I am actually going to be going live on Twitch a lot more often. I've mentioned Twitch in my um, like videos before, but I do play some games on Twitch. I play Dead by Daylight. Mostly, I might start playing a few games 
next year, like a few different ones next year, but probably not. Um, but I stream Dead by Daylight twice a week, but I have got my new PC. I bought a new PC and it works really well. So I'm probably gonna be streaming a lot more because I have my own PC, my own office space. Um, and yeah, I'm probably gonna be streaming a lot more because of that. So right now it's twice a week. I'm maybe gonna hope for four times a week, at least three, maybe four. So go ahead and follow me on Twitch. That's also linked in my description box below as well. So go ahead and follow me in there. Um, but yeah, other than that, guys, that is it from me today. Um, so if you want to stick around and see my journey on YouTube, all you need to do is click the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every single time I make a video, all you need to do is click on the little notification bell. It looks like a little bell, has two lines. Um, if you click on that and the two lines are there, it means you get notifications every time I upload a video. But until then, uh, have a good Christmas, like I said, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.